Well, I'm back, and I noticed while scrolling around, like, these guys, you know, are potentially going to make an attack on the east part of my empire, too. Like, gosh darn it. Though it looks like the Goths kind of wrecked most of their armies already. Because um, this looks like the bulk of them right there. Um, okay, go Goths, I guess. Um, I guess we could follow these guys. It's not going to do much for me, but hey, I don't really need to talk to the Goths that much if they're not going to do anything besides stand around this one city. Despite having the obvious option of expanding down south. Like, you guys have an option. You don't have to hang around my territory. But at any rate, I suppose we should take care of this. Okay, they would have the complete siege equipment, so let's just go in with the assault. Okay... I'm somewhat tempted to just do uh, a quick auto resolve. Because let's face it, sea battling has been a pain in my butt so far. But we could um, have this guy do a lot of the work if we let him come in. Ah, screw it, auto resolve. I mean, it's 20 to 7. It ain't worth it for me to get personally involved in this. And we'll just exterminate the populace because, you know, why wouldn't we? And have you guys pull back for rehabilitation. And recruit another archer unit because we haven't finished the wharf yet, right? So I can't build boats. So I can start sending someone down here to try and capture this place with the garrison of one, peop one person in it. I mean, I need it, but not that badly. Okay. Well, no. I guess we're going to have to end our turn and see what happens. I'm assuming the Vandals are going to turn around and attack me again. I mean, why wouldn't they? Though, so where they're going, I don't exactly know. Hopefully it's going to go back east, because I'm getting tired of them already. Okay. Sent an assassin to try and murder my faction here, leader, huh? Really failed. Crushing defeat. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Well, crushing defeat. We're gonna lose our only boats. End of turn report. Okay, so we made money because of all the people we killed. Largest faction, huh? No? That's nice. I like being the largest faction, but at the same time, I'd be happier, you know, if these guys would get. Out of my territory. Okay, we could build some farmland, but that does come with the cost, you know, of uh, inviting trouble in the long run. Um, crop rotation, or go with the Bardic Circle. Bardic Circle for now. Um. You know, farming, plus 80, I'll take it. Okay, can I get something more serious off of this road? 38, huh? <laughs> Still not very good. Okay. Looks like they're heading mostly south. Looks like the Romans are sending an army our way, gosh darn it. Um, blacksmith, why not? No, that's where we just were at. Actually, that's a bit more expensive than I like, but they're all the same price, never mind. Melalium finished its port, so obviously we want to recruit a boat so we can send some people by sea. Um... A blacksmith would be nice. Not that the upgrades are going to be available to us in time, but hey. Londinium can, you know... Open up as a bit of a breadbasket. And I, I know it's a horrible decision long term, but we don't have to really worry about that. I mean, our goal is just to get to, you know, the bare minimum here. Which means I just want to, you know... Enough stuff. 
Okay, Burgundy's allies with the Eastern Ro Empire, huh? And the Western Roman Empire has declared uh, a ceasefire with the Eastern Empire rebels. Okay. Recruitment. Um, some swords, guys, I suppose. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so we can launch an assault on this, obviously. These guys apparently either went into waiting or they head into here. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. I don't even think I can attack these guys if I tried. Um, ladders. Since I can use them, we'll buy that unit. I'll take whatever advantages I can get at this point. And I guess we'll launch an assault because we can knock down these walls, alright. A family member. Ah, oh, man. Apparently loyal. Yeah, I love that one. Well. Let's fight the battle on the map, I guess. Hopefully this town's layout's not super annoying. But this is a territory I need to have, so... I should treat it as a bit more important than some of the other battles we've been dealing with. I was hoping the hordes would head south, though. I mean, west doesn't make much sense, because there's nothing out there, but... South, they could head into Greece and fight amongst themselves, and I would have been happy to let them do it. Today, victory is within our grasp. Put your backs and souls and hearts into the fight, and we have Await my order. Well, of course we're gonna win. I mean, come on. I mean, we got heavy cavalry, we got light cavalry. In fact, we'll put those units together. Okay. We'll just have you guys break that door down and, uh... I guess that'll basically do it, because I don't really have much uh, strategy I can really deploy here. I mean, we can send some people down this street into the town square, basically, and start, you know, maybe setting up some basic spearmen. Or, I mean, I guess we can bring these guys in. I can actually open up multiple holes, technically, but... Doesn't seem necessary. Okay. Come on, knock that door down. Our warriors have reached the enemy gate with the ram. Yeah, their layout for protecting this wall is pretty crappy because there's no towers over here, so you could smash here and here for additional, you know, holes. But have broken the gate. The way is open. Let your men kill all the cowards inside. Um, let's see. We could send someone else around. Though I admit, you know, working our way through this network of neighborhoods is going to suck. Because we'd have to go... All the way around to do it. Yeah, like, you gotta go all the way up here, then down here to try and flank them. Gosh darn it. Warriors have driven the enemy to okay. his own walls. The way to victory is open. Okay. Come on, guys, get in here. Okay, we could send you guys over here, I guess. Okay. 
I don't want these guys to like position, you know, over here. Okay. Oh great, they're taking the most painfully stupid route possible. Okay, you guys in position. Would you guys hurry up. I mean, your job is going to be to run out here and try and hit these guys from behind when they start moving in on us. Okay. Well, now. Can you guys move any faster? You got horses. Okay. Get over there. Jeez. Just can't lose a guy. They haven't taken out the family member yet. How oh, is he still standing? Finally. Yeah, we lost more men than he did, though. Oof. I know, I know. It was a heavy cavalry unit. I should have expected it. Even with spearmen, I don't usually throw those guys from their horses easily. Well, exterminate. Take the money. Recruit. Um, we can build a mine. Let's do that. We'll build a mine. And we'll recruit some units while we're here. I'm assuming they're going to try maybe bust out. I don't know for sure, though. I assume this unit's coming up this way. We're going to have to deal with this guy. Okay, build a watchtower. And I guess we're just going to launch the attack. You guys still need to recover. Oh yeah, we probably got some really good stuff in here. I guess we can repair the blacksmith. A large open sewer, eh? Well, let's recruit some Franciscas, right? It's what they're known for. Oh, we'll build a tavern. And what kind of temple you guys got anyway? Large temple. Not you know as good an experience as it could be, but I'll take it. And that'll do it for this episode. Next time, I suppose we'll take Rome and basically start trying to close up our uh, goals because that'll put us, you know, at 18 territories, and we just need to capture these two to finish things up. Though I admit, getting someone over there might be a trick, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, we can recruit some more people up here. Oh, I can recruit some heavy cavalry. Eh, it's not worth it. These guys are just really expensive on the upkeep. And while they've got good stamina, you know, ugh, it's just, just so expensive. You know? Oh, they got full damn army over there. Never mind. So, I guess, you know, why no one's messed with the Celts? Let's try and get back to a port. I might regret trying that. We'll see. If I get smacked back, I won't blame them. I might end up getting my faction leader killed because I forgot how many people they have over there. 
Oh well, until next time then. See ya.